The second stage of this year's Giro d'Italia is a team time trial. And it's going to be exciting to see if Lotto Belly Cell can keep their yellow jersey, or the pink jersey. It's going to be rough because I don't think they have the best t team time uh, team time trial team. They really have, they have Evans who's the only real good time trialist. So, one of the favorites for this one should be Sky, Blanco, maybe AG2R. It should, be, it should be exciting to see if they could do anything. Well, right now, it's Quick Step out in the route and they're doing real good with Movie Style right behind them. Oh, and here is... Here's Contador's team. Let's see how they can do today. They really, he needs to step up today. Like, this is his first day of proving that he can do something. And with the team he's he's taking to the Shirt Italia, he should be able to win this one. Just, if you look at this team, they are not that terrible, actually. Like, a lot of them are upcoming stars or old stars. So, pretty good. Okay, in the front right now, Omega Fun Malatu with a 10.58. But they just got beat by Movie Star by 5 seconds, 10.53. Now, AG2R is in the lead. Oh! Un QP. Uh, where are they? AG2R just beat the best time by 2 seconds at the intermediate sprint. And it seems like they are gonna keep the best one, maybe. It might be looking like that, actually. And it's raining today, so it's real difficult for some riders. For some riders that don't like this, it's gonna be really difficult and really tough for them to keep up with this. Okay, let's look. No one has entered the race yet. It's a good sign, I think. In the front, Cubic Q is doing real good. They have a real good team, actually. Quick step. They should be doing better than this. Okay, they finished in a 24-25. Let's see how good Movie Star is doing. 24-24, beating them by point some zero point something seconds. Ooh, AG2R getting third. They lost so much power in the end. Vercancelay is getting fourth. You couldn't expect anything else. This is a team that should be doing good. Oh, four, three seconds. It's not much time difference right now. Now Tail Finish team comes in first, beats him with point zero point five seconds. And now Sky. Oh, they come in on a disappointing fifth place. Lotte Balisal, can they keep that yellow jersey? Eight seconds, they should be able to keep their pink jersey. Erstana comes in. Oh, seventh place, four seconds behind. Tony Martins wins this stage, or Team Saxon Bank Tinker wins the stage, but Tony Martins get credited with the stage win. That was, that was an intense stage. That was fast. Let's see. The pink jersey. Oh, Matthew Goss takes it away. Somehow, Blanco managed to take it away. So we'll be seeing Matthew Goss in the pink jersey. In front of Bichelle and Dingle Cop. And Cavendish actually managed to get up to fourth place now. So if he wins the next stage, he should be able to take the yellow, no, the pink jersey. But Dingle Cop, as a small victory, he keeps the points jersey. So that's that's a small victory for Lotte Belly Sol. Let's see. What next up it should be the Mountains jersey. Um Cameron Maya gets to keep that one. And Dangle Cup gets to keep the white jersey, but now it changes over to Quintana. We'll be seeing Quintana in the white jersey tomorrow. Since it's the second best team. Oh and Saxon Tinkov is now the best overall team. But beating movie star by one second. That's that's impressive. That's really impressive. So, that was a team time trial. Not as big shakeups as, as you would have expected. When you're watching team time trials, a lot of stuff can happen. And it didn't for some reason. So that was that was nice. So right now it's Matthew Goss behind Matthew Bruchel, Daniel Cup, Cavan Dish, and Tony Martin is up there pretty good. So, thank you guys for watching the stage. See you in the next stage. So, about that Cavendish having a chance for the pink jersey. That's not happening in this stage. That's gonna be really difficult for him. Like, if you look at the pink, if you look at the stage, it's not gonna happen. He's gonna have to compete over two category two mountains. Good luck with that. Let's get this on the way. Uh, the race head leader. I don't, know, I, I don't remember what he's called. Let's go. So, some of the favorites for this stage should be guys like Samuel Sanchez, Luis Leon Sanchez, Peter Sarkin for that shake. He should be a major favorite for this one. So. Let's see what's gonna happen. I would say a breakaway could probably win this one too. Vida Paul should be a big favorite. Let's see if anyone attacks right off the bat. Or should we wait for a second to see if anyone attacks? It doesn't seem like anyone is interested in an early attack. It's gonna be such a long stage that an early attack would be stupid. 208 kilometers. Good luck with attacking with that much to go. And two category two mountains in the end. It's gonna be rough. What? Maybe Nibbly could attack on the downhills today. Who knows, it might be a day where the, uh, where the GC actually gets shaken up a bit. Guys like Contador could maybe take some seconds on this stage. 
and we have the f we are having a first attacks happening right now. It's the second place in the GC match with Rochelle attacking with the old time against Fox. Both these guys have a major chance of winning this stage, but will they let number two in the GC go? He's only behind two seconds. If he gets this uh, intermediate sprint, he's technically in the pink jersey. It seems like they're letting him go. They're now up to one and a half minutes soon. They're letting Matty Bichel go, number two in the GC, they're letting him go. This might be a smart move by the Lotto Belly Salt, sending out Matty Bichel this early. Matty Bichel is not a bad rider, he should be able to get over these hills. And his downhill is not bad either. See, he's or he knows how to handle himself in a saddle, look at that. He's going from side to side really fast, and him and Jens Fuck know each other. They have both been riding on Team Saxabank before. Team like Bank Tinkoff now, but they've been riding on Team CRC back in the days, so they should be able to talk to each other and work together. There should be no hate between these two guys. So let's see how they do. There is four points for the guy getting third, so we might see the Peloton increase in speed. Yeah, we see it right now. There is the uh, Peloton is increasing speed. Matthew Gus wants to win this. Are they sprinting in the front? Yep, they're sprinting. Let's see it. From behind, nothing's happening. Right now, it's Fuck versus Michelle. From behind, can they catch him? Oh, from the outside, Dingle Cup's going fast, but Fuck wins the sprint. Dingle Cup's gonna beat Gus. Where's Cavendish? Cavendish got six, I think. Cavendish just not on his A game today. Uh, this so far in the Shiro. He gets fifth. He gets two points anyway, but Dingle Cup's increases his lead with four points. Let's see what they do with the next intermediate sprint. It's gonna be exciting to see the Peloton sprint once again. So far, there's been no, there's been no real big breakaways, so the Peloton's been able to sprint for the points. Well, right now in the virtual GC, Matty Bruchel is in the pink jersey, but this is probably gonna shake up a bit because now the team of the Peloton is starting to set a pace. So it's gonna be exciting to see if he can get another, get another points, and get another point. Or no, they're not getting caught. Brichel and Fox Dreams are now away. I like the I like the like the playstyle. A lot of results. Oh, here comes Matthew Gus. He's sprinting. Right behind him is Greipel. Matthew Gus is gonna win this one with Andrew Greipel and Peter Sagan. But back to, back to the point before I was talking about. I like how they send out Matthew uh, Matty Brichel that way. Right now he's in the virtual yellow jersey. Now Jens Fox is attacking again. Is Matty Brichel gonna follow him? No. Jens Fox is going all alone. Oh, something happened to the something happened to Cameron Meyer. He can't do anything anymore. He's now two minutes behind. The mountain church has fallen behind, so he can't get anything on the top of these mountains. So I'm pretty sure we'll have a new mountain church today. It's gonna be exciting. Jens Fox is all alone. Is he gaining? He's gaining slowly but surely. This is like an old Michael Rasmus move. Attack by yourself, go up the mountain, set a high pace, don't allow the Peloton to catch you, then win in the end and gain the Michael Rosa, the pink jersey. So, it's gonna be exciting to see if Jens Fox can do what a Michael Rasmussen can do a Michael Rasmussen. The Peloton is splitting a bit actually back in the pa like back in the pack right now. Who's all this? P we're dropping Peter Sagan, we're dropping Dangle Cups, we'll have a new we'll have a new red jersey today I think. Who's who's otherwise down here? Peter Sagan is down here. Thibaut Pinot is down here. One of the favorites are down here for for Vacant Soleil, I think it is. Yeah it is. Michael Merkel is down here. A lot of guys are being dropped now. Now Peter Sagan is making his way back to the top. Vada Pauls are being dropped. Mearsman are being dropped. Rollins are being dropped. Balan is being dropped. Gaspar Rods is being dropped. Fultzang is being dropped. Seven Chavanel is being dropped. There's only 52 riders left. This is the pace set by AZ2R and Blanco. A lot of guys are being dropped now. It's going to be difficult to see if they can do anything. At least the yellow jersey is up here with the white jersey. Did Peter Sagan come back? I'm not sure if he did. Let's see, it's going downhill now, so he should be able to come back now. But Fuck won the top, was the first over the top. So much happened that we forgot, I forgot to look at that. Fuck got first, but we got third. Luis Lanchance has got one extra point now, so that's that's interesting to see actually. Luis Lanchance might be just trying to get all these points caught up slowly but surely. Full saying Gasparato down here. Is that Finny being dropped? Oh, he's in the back of the peloton. He's dangerous, dangerously far behind. Right now, yes, folks, has got a minute and 25 seconds. Let's see. If down here, it's it's interesting to see Dingle Cup already being dropped. I thought he would have done better now that he's in the uh, sprinter's jersey. But Thibaut Pinot being dropped, that's that's too early for him. I thought Vakanzale would have loved to keep him a bit longer so they could have used him later. But seems like they're just gonna they're just gonna count on breakaways in the Shirley Italia this year. 
Ooh, that was fast. I did we didn't even see it on the camera, but Nibali has caught up to Jens Fucked with Philip Schilbert and is that Alejandro Valverde? Yeah, that's Alejandro Valverde. Now Cattle Evans is attacking. Oh who is that? No, that's that's Thomas Claire up there. Valverde's on his way up there. Juan Rig uh look him where Rodriguez is on the way up there. Now uh, now he's falling back. He's letting Blanco setting the pace. Rezink and Hesedal setting a pace with 82 around here. Where is Contador? Is Contador he's sitting down there? He's got his whole team left. They're just pacing themselves. Let's see how much time they got down to the Peloton. Shouldn't be that much. They just attacked. They got a minute and they just attacked like seconds ago it felt like. So right now in the front we've got Nibali, Fug, Schilbert and Evans is being kind of dropped from the pace with Vauclair being dropped up from up there. Right now if this would come to a sprint probably Phil Schilbert will win this. But I don't think Nibali will let this be the sprint. Jens Fog is attacking again. He's got he's got strong legs today. He doesn't want to be with these guys. He knows he's gonna get beat by these guys. Jens Fogt, 40 years old, but still strong. Everyone should give him a, like a round of applause just for doing this. Oh now Philip Schilbert is attacking again. Nibali's falling as well. Cancelara is attacking! Blanca's cancel they're they're putting all their money in Cancelara today. Alejandro Valverde is attacking. Andy Schlag is attacking from Ooh, it seems like Quickstep is going for Andy Schleck, even though they have Froome and Wiggins. Are they saving Froome and Wiggins for another stage? Where is Contador? Where is Contador, Kenny? He's down there. He doesn't seem like he's looking good. They may be going for Rodriguez. Who knows? Where is Contador? He's still sitting down there. He's relaxing. There is Igor Anton. Up in the front. Nope, it seems like Nibali's gonna go for this. He's gonna go for the mountains point. Nibali's gonna be first over, it seems like. Just behind him is Cat 11 with Joaquin Rodriguez. Hesing is attacking up there. There, that's just setting a pace in the front. There's only 39 guys left in the peloton. So Nibali gets first... Wait, yeah, Nibali gets first, Kyle Evans second, and Rodriguez third. Oh, can I guess to keep his mountains jersey. That's a big surprise. Lucky him. Now Nibali can set a pace in the downhill. We all know he's a fast downhill. He's got 15 kilometers to go. Can Vincenzo Nibali win on this downhill? He's setting such a high pace, but how's the peloton looking like? Kyle Evans is setting a high pace with Thomas DeGint, Robert Gleising, TJ Van Garen is up there, Rio Costa, Pierre Roland. Is Contador still up here or is he just not... He knows nothing's gonna happen today, so he doesn't really want to attack. And Quintana is up here, that's impressive by the young guy. So he'll be keeping his white jersey. Or he will get his white jersey, I think. Where is Contador? He's right there, he's sitting perfect. But right now, Vincenzo and Nibali are taking really important seconds. 45 seconds down to the Peloton. He's gaining and gaining. I don't think the Peloton is being fast enough to catch him. They have this many guys against one guy, and the one guy is winning. Ooh, is Joaquin Rodriguez losing pace? Ooh, the yellow jersey is down here now. Or, yep, yeah, Matthew Goss being dropped. Matthew Goss is being dropped. There's a new pink jersey now. Elba Boston Hawkins being dropped, I think. That's, that's dangerous. Talansky is down here getting water, or is that, that was Luis Lanchan Sanchez getting water. Ooh, Daniel Martin is attacking. Ooh, who's now attacking? Oh, Hunter Valverde is attacking with Andy Slag. Robert Hessing is attacking. Nothing really happened. Is Contador on the front now? No, that's Moreno. They're still just setting a high pace. Contador is counting on his teammates to get him this time gap back. He does not want to attack him. So he does not want to waste powers on this stage. For him, this stage is worthless, it seems like. 38 seconds. Vincenzo Nipple is gaining. 40 seconds. Can he do this? 38 seconds. 39 seconds. 3 minutes. 3 kilometers left. Can they catch him? They gotta start the sprint early. Even Bass is sprinting. Jeremy Roy is up there. How is Jeremy Roy up there still? Thomas again is sprinting. 24 seconds. They're trying to catch him. Eva Bosen Hagen is up there. Rodriguez. They're, they're catching Nibali on the inside. It's Eva Bosen Hagen. Eva Bosen Hagen is gonna win this stage, it seems like. No. Fabian Cancelaro. Samuel Sanchez. Eva Bosen Hagen wins the stage. Stage win for Astana. Samuel Sanchez gets second. Fabian Cancelaro third. And Contador gets fourth anyway. What the heck? I was no one seen that one coming. Eppel Boston Hawking wins the third stage of this year's Giro Italia. What a surprise. It seems sure that Nibali would have won this. It seems sure. In everyone's eyes, Nibali was gonna win this. He didn't. And to the podiums. Eppel Boston Hawking wins this one. The Norwegian champion wins this one. Who would have known that? Andy Slag actually sprinted his way up to 10th place. And it seems like maybe they've been going for Chris Froome. He got 6th place. That's definitely impressive. And the yellow and the pink jersey, I'm sorry, I keep saying yellow jersey. Eva Boston Hagen's winning in front of Sunway Chances, four seconds, Cancelara twelve seconds. Even Bastos doing pretty good actually, sixteen seconds behind. But then we have movie star right here. They have five out of ten places in the top ten. Oh Dingle Cup gets to keep his 
red jersey, his Princess jersey. I thought he might have would allow. I thought he would have lost to this stage because I was counting on Peter Sakin actually doing better than he did. He was nowhere seen. Cameraman gets to keep his monster's jersey. Impressive by him. That's that's really lucky. And Quintana is leading the white jersey with zero seconds down to his teammate TJ Van Garen. Good job, Nara Quintana. He he is really an upcoming talent. He should be doing pretty good. And Team Saxon Tinkoff defended their team's classification with one second down to the movie star. I don't know how they're doing it, but it's impressive. Apple Boston Hawkins is the strongest, definitely. The Norwegian champion surprised everyone. Thanks for watching, guys.